guys. So today I'm going to show you how I did this really cool electric blue liner with uh, super extreme kind of pulled out anyway so I'm going to show you today so stick around I am going to do the video and I hope you enjoy it and be sure to like share and subscribe it really helps me out so click the bell like right now or uh, click below subscribe and like the video give me a thumbs up and I thank you very much and uh, let's get on with the video hey guys welcome back thanks for joining me on my next makeup video. I know it's been a couple since I've been so busy. Um, but I am just going in and I'm using my airbrush. I'm using a 135 soft glow, which is my base color. And I'm going to use a 117 soft glow for the highlight. And I'm just doing my foundation right now. And uh, I've gone in with MAC NW25 just to cover like discoloration before I did the airbrush. My eyelashes are already on because I've already been running around today. So today I wanted to show you how to do this really cool electric blue liner. I use three different colors of blue, three different products. So I wanted to talk about that and I added in some black on the ends with my airbrush. So I do once again a mix of airbrush and regular makeup products. Um, and I just love doing that. Um, like I've, I've mentioned before in my makeup videos, sometimes it's about budget, sometimes it's about convenience, and sometimes it's just fun. When you're a makeup enthusiast, you just want to play. So I'm going in right now with my L'Oreal Infallible uh, Blue Liner. And uh, it's called Electric Blue. And I'm just using this kind of as my base. I find it a little light for me to just use this only as blue liner. I don't think it pops. And I like colors that pop on my eyes and my skin tone. Um, so I use this as a base. It goes on really well and it's got a nice smooth feel to it. And then over top I'm doing a wet and wild glitter eyeliner in this really cool bright electric blue. And this is what the one that I really love. I just find it goes over top really well. And um, and you know me, like if you watch my makeup videos, I love the play of light and dark and shadow. So that's why I'm using three different shades and different colors. Um, I don't love the brushes on these liners. I always find them awkward. You can always use like a little 110 like makeup brush. But um, I've gone in with just the brush from the container and I'm painting it on. And I find with this infallible liner underneath, it's really easy to just kind of build. Um, and as you can see, I didn't really make any mistakes. Like it's all about balancing maybe the width of it. So I'm going in with a MAC. Uh, I forgot the name of this, sorry. It's an old shadow. It's a deep blue. And you can see this is a little bit different, darker tone. So I'm doing that in the corners and then I'm just pulling it out. And I'm using one of my blending brushes. Um, it's another MAC brush. I'll, if I remember, I'll put down the number down below. But it's your classic blend brush. If you like makeup, you'll know it. And I'm really focusing on my ends because I like to fill out the sides of my eye. I find that really brings out my eye. Um, than doing skinny lines or just doing a little shadow. So I'm just kind of blending that. And I did less towards the inner of the eye. So I, I focused on the outer part to pull the eye. So I'm going in now with a different liner. This is my L'Oreal. It's a very bright Colbert Blue liner. And I'm doing it on the inside of my waterline. And so that's where you see the three different colored blues. And I have light brown eyes, so that really plays off that. And so it's really cool when you can use different colors to play off your eye color and just create like different effects. So I find this brings out my eye color. And I'm using my jet black airbrush uh, color to just go in and pull out the corners. I love kind of blending my liner and I like my liner like this. I don't try to fight to do a perfect line or a big huge cat eye. So as you can see I've kind of created this cat eye slash eyeshadow. And I'm going in, I'm just cleaning out my guns in between, but I like this variation. If you like it or if you have better ideas, please comment below. I'd love to hear. Um, but this is what I do and it works well for me. So I'm also going to go in and touch up my eyebrows and just do a cut eyebrow. Ah, and this is my Voluminous Original L'Oreal Bright Colbert Blue Mascara. This stuff really is the final touch. So usually I put a primer, which is completely white, and then put this on, but it worked. Um, so I'm doing this on my bottom lashes and then I'm, I've already got my fake lashes on so I'm just going underneath and coating them and just brushing them out. But if you wanted to, you could do the whole lash. You could put the primer on and do this and it'd be really magical. But for me today, I just wanted to do it like this. It works. The blue will pop and I kind of like it. And I'm just dragging across the, the lashes so they don't clump up. 
and zigzagging in a zigzagging motion. So you can see how bright that is now and it kind of pops. Now I'm going in with my NYX um, eyebrow concealer and I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows, doing a nice cut crease and that's with a one of my matte concealer brushes. I'm going underneath. It also helps to kind of clean up any extra fall off from the liners or the shadow. And I'm just shaping my brows again. And like I've been running around all day so this is a nice little cleanup job. And this is something you can do like if you were out running around doing errands and then you decided, hey, I look like hell, I need to fix this. So I'm just going in, I'm smoothing out, just creating some definition in lines. As you can see, it's super natural. And then I'm just taking my L'Oreal uh, dark brunette pencil and creating some natural la little lashes, or not lashes, but little strokes for my eyebrow. And then just balancing it out. Just trying to make it natural, but at the same time filled in. So that was fun. So now I'm taking my uh, MAC Peaches blush and I'm just doing the center of the cheek and I'm tapping and then I'm blending out. And I'm once again using a blush brush. If I remember all these numbers, I'll put them down. But if you're a makeup enthusiast, you already know what these are. And now I'm taking a blending brush with the shadow and I'm going into my crease just to give it some color and bring out that eye a little bit. So it's not so flat, black and blue. And as you can see, it warmed it up. And it works well on my skin tone. Try it out, let me know if that works for you. But it's just my blush, which I basically used in the center of my crease. And then now I'm taking my favorite Wet n Wild highlighter. It is like a rose gold blush. And I'm just putting it on those areas where I want a little bit of pop of highlight. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild. This is like the orange color. This was the liquid catsuit. Um, I don't know if they still have this color. Uh, they redid their packaging. Uh, it's called Flame of the Game. And I love it. It's just kind of like in between a red orange, but it's got a nice orange pop and it's matte and they don't dry out my lips. And it's so hard to find matte lipsticks that don't dry out your lips. And this thing stays on forever. I did not do a lip liner today. I didn't build up my lip. I just kept it simple. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I love doing the blue and the black. It's kind of fun. Enjoy. Thanks so much.